Okay, this is the assembly video for the BF47. By now, you received the box. It's a one box product. Check that out. Step one, lay out all the parts, check them in, uh, get your manual ready. We're gonna go through step by step. So have all the parts laid out. So you want to specifically find parts 25, 26, 29, and 32. Those will start the main frame of the base and the rest of the parts will kind of build off the main frame. So let's get those parts ready now. Okay, here I have 26, 25, and 29 ready to go. 26, the parts are symmetrical, but based on the stickers, you want the stickers facing up. Get the <clears throat> two part 26s together, stickers facing up. Part 25 will straddle the parts 26, you want to make sure that the nub here is facing out. This is where the bench is gonna go for the uh, incline decline. And then for part 29, if you're gonna make a mistake, it's right here. We call this the bullhorn. So it's slightly curved. You want the curved part facing toward the user, like so. So, parts 26, parts 25, and parts 29. Let's go ahead and finger tight the bolts for these parts. When putting on the nuts and bolts for the parts here, you want the threads of the bolts to face outward. Why? During the use of the uh, 47, your feet can step inside here for the sit-up portion. You don't want the threads facing inward for the chance of stepping on the threads so the threads are best to face outward. Sometimes you'll notice the, the nuts and bolts look very similar, but just a slight difference in length. Usually, when the bolt must go through uh, multiple pieces of metal, it's longer for the threads to stick out. Example, the part 29 <clears throat> has more of a saddle going over part 26. You have more pieces of metal to go through. So logically, you need a slight longer bolt to go through there. And again, face the threads outward so your feet and knees won't catch the exposed threads. Okay, all the nuts and bolts are finger tight. This is the mainframe, they're all in place we can now bolt them down tight with the right wrench. So go ahead and tighten all the nuts and bolts down. Okay, secure frame. Okay, now let's attach the seat frame. Next, locate parts 27, 28, and 33. 27 is the base under the seat pad. 28 will be the lever part that can adjust the incline decline and 33 is the pad itself. On 27, there are three holes. Line those, line those up to the pad. The pad is neither left or right. It doesn't matter which way it is. It can go this way or it can go this way. It doesn't matter. You've got three bolts with no nuts and three washers. You can tighten that down securely now. On these three bolts here, tighten it firmly. Do not over tighten. You can physically pull the uh, recessed nut inside the wood up through the wood. So nice and firm, you're good to go. On part 28, there is a up or down, left or right function. So the goal is this is to f f fold down in use. So the curved part, you want curved over the frame. You do not want it this way. Okay. For part 28, you have three holes here. You have three, three holes here. 
which one does it go to? The furthest downward hole on the part 28, the furthest downward hole in the part 28 will go in the middle hole on part 27. So this hole right here, these two line up. You can tighten this down firmly right now. Tighten this one down enough where it can hold itself up in this position. You can still move it, but it's not wiggly or jiggly. It should support itself. You'll know that why when we have this in place. So nice and tight where it can hold itself up. All right, flip it over. You've got the little horseshoe piece right there it slides into. For ease of assembly, open this up. Goes right inside there. Line the holes up. And bolt it in place. All right, so there's the main frame with the bench in place. Next comes the lever arms. There is a left and a right. So go back to the bull horns back here. Remember they kind of curve in a little bit. The lever arms, a good trick is the foam part will face inward because that's what the, hand, the user is going to grab as far as the grip. So this curve here, foam part faces in, the plates will go in this part. There is a zip tie back here to hold the bearings in place. Pop the zip tie and slide it on the bullhorn. Make sure the bearings stay inside the lever arm. He can rest right there. Now there are two small little bolts with two fat washers. Those will go on the lever arms to hold the washers and arm in place. You must have the washer in place to hold the arm in place. So how tight do you make it? You don't want it to jiggle. You don't want it to resist moving. So find that tension where the jiggle's gone but it can still turn freely. You'll feel the tension when it gets too tight and you'll feel the jiggle when it gets too loose. He could rest right there. So there's the jiggle. It's gone. This floats freely and that's a good position. Now the other next pieces are the uh, safety adjustments, those two can throw you off. One each side, so the lever arm is going to rest on the safety arms here. You can see the hole pattern must line up with the hole pattern on the frame. And the safety arm goes diagonal, so that way whatever position the arm's at, it'll still catch it. Now, if you lower this all the way down to there, which I don't think someone's going to do this, but you never know. Let's go to the one hole exposed. One hole exposed right there. The user lays down here. You can see the hand grips there. As you push up, your hands come in that way as far as the chest. Rubber pads here will go on the protective safety squat or safety piece. That now gives you rubber between the two pieces of metal. You have the foam rollers with the bar 
Those will go in the drop down portion. That's for the sit up feature. Take off the zip tie. These two plastic caps stay inside the frame. Okay. You have two plastic caps here. They will go on the part of the lever arms. That keeps fingers free from getting inside there and also from dirt and grime. Washers for the plate storage. There is a small locking pin that goes under the seat. So if you wanted to adjust the incline decline, this little piece here will fit right inside there to adjust your position. It also locks it into place so as you're in the bench press function, the seat won't collapse down. There you go, that is the BF-47.